Hello Huskies, um, this is your asynchronous video for creative writing, um, your Thursday and Friday class, uh, September 3rd and 4th. So if you missed or if you need to go back and um, get some help, this is where you'll find it. <laughs> this is what you missed. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go through the lesson for the day. We're going to start with a do now, um, and in either a notebook or on a Google Doc, I want you to write a reaction to this quote by Stephen King. It says, the scariest moment is always just before you start. So either in a doc or on a notebook, go ahead and jot down some thoughts about that. Hit pause and come back when you're ready. All right, welcome back. <laughs> it's amazing how time works in a video, isn't it? So. Um, the reason I wanted to start with that quote is because you guys are actually going to be starting something today. Um, we already started this scary, crazy, exciting new journey of virtual learning, but you guys are going to be starting your curriculum today. So um, if you haven't already done so, I want you to go through the virtual syllabus um, and my Google sites. They are both posted in Google Classroom um, with everything linked that you need to find, that you need to see there. I'm not going to go through it with you here um, because it's pretty self-explanatory, I think. But if you have any questions about those things, please do reach out and email me. Um, I'd be happy to help you. The only thing I will highlight about um, this course, Creative Writing, is that um, we mostly focus on playwriting and poetry and short stories. So it's not really, it's not like your um, typical English classes where you're doing a lot of rhetorical analysis and, um, you know, reading a bunch of novels and things. It's still a lot of reading and writing, but it's uh, a little bit different. It's creative, creative stuff. Um, so take a look at those things and let me know if you have a question. Um, otherwise, this is a really important thing that you're going to need. Um, we're going to start an essay. So, scariest moment is just before you start. Don't worry. Uh, you're going to write a rough draft um, in class. And um, here's the prompt. Let's take a look at it together. It's a diagnostic essay, so I just kind of want to see where you are as writers before we um, go ahead and get started with our curriculum, basically. So here's your objective. Um, you are going to be uh, revising and editing these, so it will be a process piece. And then um, the rationale is just to help point me in the right direction. So if the majority of the class has already nailed all of the basics, um, we can simply move on to something new, which should feel nice for you in an English class. And then let's read the instructions together. It says, for this diagnostic essay, I want you to think about what creative writing means to you. You either signed up for this class because you really wanted to take it, or you were put here because it fit into your schedule nicely. So either way, I'd like to know, though, what your thoughts are on the topic. So take a moment, explore those, and then I want you to compose an essay. And remember, this is called creative writing, so feel free to address the prompt creatively. In fact, I encourage you to do so. Um, and that brings us to the prompt. The prompt is simply, what is creative writing? So remember, it is an essay, um, and that is your prompt. And it is due Monday, September 7th. So um, yeah, I'm excited to read these. Let me go back to my screen. Oh, wait, no, it's not doing Monday. Hold on, let's go to Google Classroom really quickly. The reason I make videos is so that I can go back and fix things if I screw up, but I'm not going to do it. <laughs> this is more like real life. <laughs> when do I have the due date for this? Oh, I did say September 7th. Is that really what I mean? <sighs> I may or may not fix that. To be continued. Check for updates in Google Classroom because it will always tell you when things are due. Okay? Um, all right. So, oh, one other thing I want you to take a look at before you get started, of course, is the rubric. I always have that for you to take a look at. Um, you're going to be judged on your ideas and content, your organization, style, and conventions. So it's a little bit simpler than some that you may have been used to. I just have those four main criteria that I'm um, basing everything off of, 
and then you can be advanced, proficient, basic, or below basic in those different categories. So be sure to look that over and uh, get your rough draft started and enjoy. Enjoy it. And then this is where you found the video. This is where the Zoom recordings live. And of course, email me if you have any questions. Good luck. Have fun. I look forward to reading more essays.